What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic. Hitting y'all last up with another video on a fantastic Tuesday. Um, you know, we did the Triple G Jacobs prediction yesterday. Go check that out if you haven't checked that out. Um, that big fight coming up this weekend, but you know, had this on my mind. You got three guys that's around the same weight class as Terrence Crawford. Um, three of the four. Uh, work closely with top rank steel or work with top rank or is with top rank promotions with Masala Machenko, Terrence Crawford, and Mikey Garcia. Um, Mikey used to work close, you know, used to be with top rank, but he still, they were still with a new business with him. And uh, Lomachenko and uh, Crawford is with, um, it's with a top rank and Bob Aaron as well. And then you got uh, Robert Easton Jr., who's with Al Heyman. But, um, you know, these three guys could very well, um, run into each other at some point in their career, especially these three guys in particular. You got um, uh, Mikey Garcia, who's been coming at lightweight, with Sal Lomachenko, who was at a uh, junior lightweight, and uh, Robert Easton Jr., who's at the lightweight now. Robert Easton Jr. hasn't missed any words um, not too far, not too long ago, or recently, that, you know, he feel like he could beat anybody in the world, send a contract, and they could lace him up. And he has a fantastic advantage over these guys, man. He has the long, lanky body like a Tommy Hearns. And the dude proved that he's tough as nails versus uh, Kami. You know, I told people about Kami. You know, a lot of people hadn't uh, seen him. I did my research on him. And he was a very impressive, good punch and a good athlete. He just fought, I think, this past weekend or the last two weeks in his home country, uh, continent of Africa. Um, I don't know if he got the win, but I think he did. But, um, you know, just to get his feet back wet. And that fight was was proven grounds for Robert Easter Jr., in my opinion, to show that he can take a punch and he can cut it to be on a world championship level. I don't care what anybody say. Kami is, should be a world champion um, pretty soon if he's match made right. Uh, he's a tough out for anybody. And I think he's a tougher dude than the uh, dude that Mikey Garcia fought. And, you know, think about, you know, Easton Jr., he has good feet. He can use his height. He can box on the inside. You know, sometimes he likes to drift on the inside and bang it out. But that's a good quality to have. And Lomachenko is a guy that we see, we know he's seen with over 300 amateur fights and only like one or two losses. He didn't see in every style imaginable to man. But has he seen a guy like Robert Easton Jr. before? And, you know, Lomachenko is a guy that, you know, he's probably in my top two or three pound for pound uh, right now. Don't matter about the record, you know, about how many fights he'd have had. Um, he's just that talented of a fighter. I think he's a one in a generation type of fighter, but styles do make fights. And Lomachenko is a master of all three ranges. He can fight inside, middle, and outside. Robert Easter Jr., um, you know, he's still learning. Um, people don't think he's ready, but I hate it. Then people say, like, when is this guy ready? And then when he's ready to jump, guys, some guys are ready to jump in there with competition with people that some think they're above their head. Oh, it's too early for him. So, you know, if he thinks he's ready, that's up to his team and him and himself to be ready for a Lomachenko fight or a Mikey Garcia fight. I welcome the love to see it. I think he would have a chance. He have a good shot. Um, as far as Mikey Garcia, he's a dude that's looking to close in on a Anthony Corella. Uh, sorry if I butchered his name. And then Jorge Linares winner as well. Linares is one of the most talented fighters in the sport of boxing. Um, I like him a lot. A little bit unknown. I know he was fighting over Asia a little while ago. Um, making a career, he ended up getting a world title, getting a WBC, and he's ready to guy to be that lightweight. Um, Lomachenko is going to shoot up there as, as well, as well as he's a part of this video as well. But I think Mikey Garcia, being more active, I think he can outclass um, both of those guys at some point. But I really wouldn't bet my house on it versus a guy like Vincent Lomachenko. But Garcia does have the skill. But uh, all roads can lead to this guy. You know, I did a video yesterday. You can check it out about should Terrence Crawford move up. I think it's no rush for him to move up. There are not a lot of opponents that he can fight because top ranks like to keep it in-house. Why not let, you know, a year pass, you know, let those three, Easter Jr., uh, Mikey Garcia, Lomachenko figure some things out. Seems like Bob wants to match Lomachenko. Uh, with Pacquiao, uh, that mean he would have to at least come up to 140, I would believe. Um, let him fight Mikey Garcia. Let him fight Easton Jr. I don't think Bob will have any uh, problem with putting him in both of them. He has supreme confidence in a guy like Basal Lomachenko. And can we see him versus Terrence Crawford? Yes, that's a super, super fight. Probably not in terms of live gate, ticket sales, or pay-per-view, but as, as, 
as far as a Pierce's dream, Lomachenko versus Crawford. I think Eastern versus Eastern Junior versus Crawford would be a hell of a fight with some more seasoning. Um, for Robert Easton Jr., I think Mikey Garcia versus Terrence Crawford would be a hell of a fight. So Crawford can take his chance, can take his turns on all three of them at once upon a time, even if they don't um, all come together and fight at one point in time at 135. Um, but I think it's a it's a beautiful thing. That's why I'm, I'm thinking Crawford should just wait it out. Um, you know, you can get Lomachenko, Garcia, and maybe Robert Easton Jr. down the line, and there's no need to jump to 147 because your promotional company isn't willing to you know, even put Manny Pacquiao in there with some of the top hogs or the top cats at, at 147. So, I like this. You know, Crawford stay put. Um, Mikey Garcia get a belt. Get the WBC belt. Lightweight belt. They ready to move to 140 as we speak. But I think he wants to get that belt from Jorge Linares or the Corella winner. And let's see what happens. You got some talent that's going to come up. This is your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.